Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video, you're gonna learn how to play What's Going On, as recorded by Marvin Gaye on guitar. Now this is an R&B classic, and we're gonna use some really lush sounding chords. We're gonna be playing chords like E major seven, and C sharp minor seven, and even a over B and B9, these sort of fancier, almost jazzier sounding chords, but we're gonna be putting it with a funkier rhythm. I'm gonna break it all down for you step by step so you can get sounding just like the recording. But real quick, if you're new here and this is the first video of mine you've seen, I've got a gift for you. I put together this awesome fretboard guide and it's gonna show you the five chords and scales that I use to map out the entire fretboard and play in any key and this works for any style and I want to give it to you completely for free all you got to do is go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below to grab your copy all right well with that said let's break down this song let's break down how to play what's going on as recorded by Marvin Gaye on guitar now we're gonna start off with the intro which is all just on an E chord we're gonna play an E major seven though, up here at the seventh fret. We're gonna play that chord for four bars like this. Then the melody comes in. Mother, mother. And Marvin comes in singing there. So this intro is all on the one chord. You've got the saxophone. playing that line on top of this E chord. And I'm playing just starting here on the fifth string at the seventh fret, seven, nine, eight, nine, seven. Now I'm just gonna stay on that shape, but I'm gonna play just this sort of sample strumming here for you, and this will give you an idea of how you can rhythmically strum through this song. So it's gonna go like this. So I'm using some scratch strums in there, and I'm also releasing the pressure here with my fretting hand, kind of in between playing the chord, just to get it a little bit more staccato. So I'm gonna play one and for the first beat. So those are just two downs there. Then on the, th uh, the second beat, I'm gonna play a muted strum, and I'm thinking 16th notes in my mind. I'm thinking one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. That's the feel of this song. So here we're gonna play two E and a. That's beat two. So that's a scratch strum. Then on the E of two, I'm gonna do an up strum. So two E, then rest on and, and then play on a again like this. Two E and a. So the first half goes one and two E and a. So the first two beats go one and two E and a. Uh. One and two E and a. Uh. Bop, bop, chick, up, up. Then the second half of the measure goes three E and a. Uh. We'll just play a quarter note on beat three. And then we'll play all scratch strums on beat four like this. Four E and a. Uh. That's just a down, down, up. Four E and a. Uh. So one and two E and a. Uh. Three, four E and a. Uh. Bop, bop, chick, up, da, da, da. That's the groove. Now that's just a general feel, but that'll help get you started strumming in this sort of R&B style. Now from there, we're gonna move into the verse. The vocal melody comes in. Right, with that part. So we're gonna play this. We've got two chords we're changing between to start here. E major seven to C sharp minor seven. Four, six, four, five, four for that second chord. So very common R&B chords here. Two bars per chord, one, two, and then change. And second bar. 
repeat that. Then we're gonna go to F sharp minor seven. Now you could just bring this chord up to the ninth fret, or you could play it down here. I like this voicing down here. This is the second fret. It's all on the second fret, actually. It's just using my thumb there and then barring four strings. You could play it without the thumb like this or do it like how I'm doing. Then we go to an A triad here, but with a B in the bass. And then we drop that index finger to a B9. So that's gonna sound like this. Everything goes again. F sharp minor. A over B. B9. Okay, that's the verse. Then we go to this little pre-chorus part. This is the picket lines part. Chords start picking up here. They start moving a little faster. We're gonna play this. Then we're into the chorus and the melody, you know. What's going on? So this pre-chorus just alternates between F sharp minor, F sharp minor seven there, and then A with the B in the bass. Three times, one bar per chord. And what's going on, what's going on, what's going on? Right, then we go to that interlude. So this chorus section here just moves between E major seven and C sharp minor seven, just like the verse, but the chords are closer together. So instead of two bars per chord like we had in the verse, now we're gonna play one bar per chord. So that's one, two, three, four, switch. Just twice. Then Marvin sings, ah, da, da, da. Now we go to this little interlude, we play an A minor seven, which looks like that F sharp minor seven chord just at the fifth fret. We're gonna play this for eight bars. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then we go to A over B for four bars. Then we're back to the verse. And everything goes again. Now there is one change. On the second verse, we play it half the length. So we only play basically a uh, 12 bar verse, so we're not gonna do the repeat. But other than that, the rest of the tune is the same. Now when we end, a lot of times, I like to end on that minor chord. There's a live version that ends on the minor chord. So you're coming out of that A over B. And instead of going to here, you can go. It would be four bars of this. Slow it down and then A minor. You can add your pinky there for that minor nine. It's a nice ending chord.
Have fun working on these classic R&B rhythms and chord shapes. Remember to go and play it along with the recording. This song has such a great groove and feel to it. So once you get those chord shapes together, then go and try and strum along with the recording and just listen to the drums and the rhythm section and imagine that you're in the band and that you're just playing along with them. And that's gonna be a great exercise to put all this together. And to help you put it together even more, be be sure to pick up my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is going to show you the five chords and scales that I use to basically map out the entire fretboard. And I think about this when I'm playing anything on guitar. It's really just a system for organizing the neck and seeing how all the puzzle pieces click together. So I want to give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. Next, I want to hear from you. What's your number one goal next with guitar? What are you working on? What would you like to learn? Comment it down below. As always, thanks for your support here with the videos, and I'll see you in another one real soon.